In this tutorial, we're going to look at how you can centre an image within a div using CSS. So there are loads of different ways that you can centre an image with CSS, but I'm going to show you three of the simplest ways that you can do it, and they all do pretty much exactly the same thing. There might be a few different scenarios that you come across that require tweaking of some of these rules, but any of these provided solutions should enable you to centre an image horizontally and vertically as long as it's in a containing element. So the easiest way to centre an image horizontally is to use the text align property. And that's because the image element is an inline element and is subject to the same alignment rules as text in this case. So the trickier part comes in when we want to centre the image vertically. So one older method was to set a large line height on the containing element. So in this case we've got 200 pixels for the height of the image container element and 100 pixels for the actual image. So as you can see setting that value does align the image vertically inside the container element but of course that does rely on you knowing the height of the image and also the image container in advance to set up this rule. So another method you can use is to set the display property of the image to inline block. And inline block elements have a special property called vertical align which allows you to centre the elements within their parent container. The only problem with this method is the vertical align property relies on having other elements to align itself to. So what we can do is create a helper element, which is essentially an empty element that takes up 100% height of the container, which will allow the image and any other elements that are in the container to be aligned in the middle. So now if we add that helper element to our markup, you can see the image is nicely aligned in the centre. A final method would be to use the transform property, which works by setting the display property to block and then moving the element into the centre of the container. So with the top and left properties adjusted, we include a transform property to translate the element back 50%. So this is quite a useful solution and it works for any block level element, so it doesn't have to be an image. And you'll see this as a common technique when you need to centre a block level element both vertically and horizontally. So all these solutions are using basic CSS properties, but you can also set the display of the container property to flex. And if you add the two properties align items and justify content, you can see we get the same result as the other solutions and we only needed three lines of code. So it is pretty convenient to use flex, but there are a couple of drawbacks. You might have some issues if you've got other elements within the container because they'll all be treated the same. So you might need to adjust your markup to ensure that you're only centering the one element that you need to. And the other thing is there is some issues with browser support, especially really old browsers. So if it is something that your page needs to support, you might want to consider using one of the other solutions. So you have different ways of centering an image using CSS.